<clears throat> All right, Shalom Israel. This is the brother of Waraba coming back to you again with this truth. Um, before I get started, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful and humble elect that's out there doing this work in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the planet Earth, helping to wake up the elect, the hopeful elect. Okay, and rightfully dividing the word of truth, the word of the Most High, and helping to feed the sheep of Israel. Okay? And so um, today what I want to talk about is I noticed that there's this, uh, this tough guy spirit that's out there, you know, going on right now amongst us. And um, the, thing that I, the thing that I want to shed some light on is that that's not the way to be right now with the times that we're in okay you know you got these guys that are going out constantly running their mouths you know and acting uh, out of order and just acting like they got everything and being real carnal and real fleshly and real worldly and that's not the way of the man of the lord okay so you kind of got to watch out for a person like that that's always that's full of mouth full of tongue always got something to say in reality, they need to shut their cotton picking mouths, man. All right. So, without further ado, I'm gonna get down to it and pull some scriptures. I got some scriptures today, and uh, Lord willing, this is gonna be an edifying lesson. All right. So, the first scripture that I'm gonna get is gonna be in the book of Ephesians. Okay. Because I'm gonna shed some light on this thing, man. Lord willing. Because there's a lot of you, you, you so-called tough guys out here in Israel, man, that just, you know, you think that your shit don't stink. You think that you may know a few things when it comes down to throwing hands and stuff like that. But in reality, the Lord told you that our weapons are not fleshy. Our, our weapons are not, are not carnal. Okay, and I'm just loosely paraphrasing at the moment. Okay. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Okay, it says, be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Okay, so you got a lot of these tough guys that like to always be angry, get angry, get real emotional about stuff, man. You know, got a short fuse and always quick to pop off. Okay, that's not what's up. But you'll see that, you know, amongst a lot of these camps, man, even when they're out preaching or if they're just, you know, <clears throat> even even amongst, you know, brethren, you know, you'll be out at a, at a sitting or you'll be out somewhere and this person is always a hothead, man. You know who we're talking about like that. You, everybody always has a person that they know that has been like that, that you can't go nowhere with them because you know it's always going to be some BS, okay? They're always going to be doing stuff or doing too much, man. And that's just not the way that the... Uh, that the men of the Lord will be, that's not a characteristic of the men of the Lord, okay? That's just the way that, that's the way that it is, man, okay? You got to remember what our, uh, what the, what the, what the main two commandments are, man, you know? Don't put nobody before the most high, put nothing before the most high, and love thy neighbor, okay? That's primarily what all of it all goes back to, man, okay, when you think about it. And how can you love thy neighbor if you if you're 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 somebody that keeps up stuff, man? Running around always trying to put hands on people and trying to trying to be a big bully, man. Or just running your mouth too damn much. You know, getting real emotional. A lot of you guys in this generation, this young generation, that's all you've been taught because you've been raised by the so-called black woman, man. Alright? And she's very effeminate. And people that be like that, and men that grow up under that like that, because there's no father in the house. You know, they grow up the same way, full of freaking emotions, man. All right. You got to watch out for guys like that. Okay. And make sure that you're not one of them. Proverbs 29, 11. It says, a fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in until afterwards. That's right. You'll have, a, you'll have a guy, man, that everywhere he goes, all he's doing is talking reckless, man. Talking crap. Okay? Always got something to say. And it doesn't matter who about, 
or even if it pertains to him or not. Just running his goddamn mouth, man. I'm telling you, a lot of you jakes, man, you're going to get put to death because you wouldn't be quiet. Okay? You always got something to say. You got that, that well, I'm going to tell him what's so my mind spirit. I ain't going to bite my tongue spirit. That's not the way to be, man. Okay? Especially in this day and age. Especially when it comes down to the so-called our enemy, man. Okay? The biblical Edomite. Scriptures say agree with thine adversary, man. A lot of you dudes, a lot of you jakes are getting shot up in the streets because you won't shut the fuck up, man. Okay? You always got something to say. And yeah, and this is for anybody, anybody it pertains to, man. Okay? Anybody who the spirit hits, hey, this is for you. All right? Because that tough guy spirit out there, man, that's got to be purged out. There's going to be a time where Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is going to let us be tough. That's going to allow us to get out there and get busy. All right? But now is not the time, man. That's not how you conduct yourself as a man of the Lord or, or a woman thereof. Okay? Or somebody that's in the faith. You, you don't move like that. You're supposed to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. And this thing of ours. All right? This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 9. Okay? It says, Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the, bo uh, resteth in the, bo in the bosom of fools. Yeah, man. You always got some guy that's a tough guy that think that he's got it and thinks that he has it all until he gets in that ring with somebody and then he finds out that it's really not what he wants. And at the end of the day, he already had the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to not be in that predicament. Okay? You guys need to learn how to rule y'all spirits, man. Rule your spirits. Stop being so dang emotional, acting like females. Because that's a female trait, man. That's a female characteristic. And you'll see that a lot of a lot within amongst Israel, man. Always got something to say. Always angry. Always talking shit. That's not what's up. Not at all. Alright? And that was just the spirit, man, that the most high put on me to come out and bring and do this lesson like this, man. Okay? And like I said before, it, this is for whoever, whoever the shoe fits, man. If this if this calls out to your spirit, then that's then it's who it's for. Okay? I only got a couple more precepts, and then I'm done with this whole thing, this whole topic, man. And you watch out for guys like this, man. It's always got something to say, always got something to do, and always running their mouths, man. Those types of people will get you caught up and put in a trick bag in a bad situation, man. Okay. This is Second Corinthians. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, in the wrong verse. My bad. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 2 says, But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walketh according to the flesh. Okay? For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Okay? There's a lot of guys out there that likes to do all that, man. You know, and, it, and I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with defending yourself. You can always defend yourself or learn how to defend yourself and things is fine. That's a part of things, man. That's a part of being a man. But if you're always walking around trying to be a damn tough guy, man, always starting stuff, always talking shit, always got something to say, then you need to check yourself, man. You need to examine yourself for real. Okay. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds, man. I'm going to read that again. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds, man. Okay? That's right, man. Our weapons are not carnal. Not worldly, man. We ain't walking around toting gats. We ain't walking around with AR-15s down the street. We don't got that when we post up at camp, man. It's ridiculous. 
freaking ridiculous, man. And it's not about being a super tough guy or being a simp, man. Just that tough guy spirit running around, doing too much, saying whatever you think. That's going to get you killed, man. It's going to get you killed. That's what people of the world do. That's what niggas do. All right. Second Timothy chapter two, verse 24. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient. Okay. And I'm going to go into that word right there. Okay. I'm going to get the, uh, I'm going to get that in the blue letter real quick. Just bear with me. That word strive. So we have some understanding on that. Okay. Okay, that word strive in the Greek. Strong's G, 3164. Machamai. Machamai. Right, to fight of armed combatants or those who engage in a hand-to-hand -hand struggle. Okay? For those who contend at law for property and pensions. Basically, it means to fight, man. I always want to fight. I always want to talk shit. I always want to do something. I always contentious. Striving. Okay? doing too much and I'm gonna end with this one man okay cuz pretty much the points been made you got a lot of tough guys in Israel man and in that day the Lord's gonna see how tough you really are he's gonna see if you about what you if you about what you rap okay especially when the lights go out in Babylon we want to see how real tough you guys really are man doesn't make any sense Sirach chapter 8, 3. Strive not with a man that's full of tongue. Alright? And heap not wood upon his fire. Don't give him cause, man. You got a dude that always talking, always like to argue and everything like that. Stay away from that guy, man. Don't heap, don't get into an argument with him. Don't heap wood upon his fire to give him more to talk about. Okay? You ain't got time for it. You got somebody that don't like to agree. They got to move around. They got to move around, man. You got to get away from a guy like that. I always want to talk reckless. Okay? Verse 16. Strive not with an angry man. Okay? And go not with him into a solitary place. For blood is, for, for blood is as nothing in his sight. And where there is no help... He will overthrow thee. That's right, man. Got a guy that's always like that. Like I said before, mark those people like that that cause division, man. It's always out there and it's doing too much. Can't rule their spirit. Always got full of, always got something to say, full of mouth, full of tongue. Always a hothead. Watch out for those guys. Okay. And with that, I hope this lesson's been edifying, and I'm gonna close on that. And I'm going to give all glory, glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to you men that are out there doing this work in truth and sincerity, the hopeful elect. Until next time, Shalom.